As I previously discussed in an earlier video, I bought one of these CAN input and output modules. I was out of inputs and outputs on my Holly HP computer. So I figured this is the best way to expand some inputs and outputs and get more data on the car. Now I'm rewiring some inputs and outputs right now. I'm redoing some inputs and outputs right now that go to the Holly computer due to the fact that this box right here, it only controls programmable inputs and outputs. It will not control anything defined by an ICF. So with that being said, I have a custom output for a smart fan, a secondary fuel pump, stuff like that. I'm taking that off those, putting these on here, and then the ICFs that I'm controlling with things like the uh, dump valve, uh, boost control, things like that, that will all go on the Holly. So, biggest thing about this is, is it requires the Holly V6 software uh, version 200. So, if you're not sure which one you got, go to help about Holly. I updated my firmware this morning. So, boom, voila, you got it. Then, next thing that I noticed is you do not go onto the ECU pin map to assign these any longer. What you do is you will go down to this drop menu, can five volt, and then from there, go to configure. From there, you just set up the uh, sensor that you're gonna use. Like say I'm using a custom five volt one. So simple as that. And it all goes pretty quick once you navigate it. Obviously, I've played with this a good bit. And then uh, you go set your tables up down here, your calibration tables. So these cheap ones, they go from 0.5 to 4.5. That being 0 at 2.5. Where would we be at in 2.5? 2.5. Two point five is one fifty. And then from here to here. And then this one right here, three hundred. Here to here. I'm gonna double check these because I'm just going off memory, so if they're wrong then don't kill me, I'm just trying to remember what was what, but I'm pretty sure 150 was the middle point, but I know zero to 300 is 0 0.5 to 4.5. So then after that, there you go, it's all in there. And then you just go back to making more that way. All right, then up next are the outputs. On this box, everything is going to be a ground output or PWM ground. So keep that in mind. And then it's just as simple as clicking configure and seeing everything that you uh, have. Mine's all set up on a sensor input trigger trigger that somebody was nice enough to do for me. So my fan works a lot better than the ICF that it provided. So I put it on this box. And then to assign it, you go right here. Um, I'm not sure where mine's supposed to be. Okay, it's on too. So, CAN bus one, output two, that works. And then shift light, same deal. I was playing with it a little bit this morning, but set it there. Oh, hold on, hold on. Catch me slipping. Set up, go to CAN. Which output is this? Shift light is output number four. I am gonna double check all these broadcast rates and stuff as well to make sure those are right. I haven't really researched on that much, but it's pretty cut and paste, pretty simple. The one thing that I have done to make life easier is I went ahead and I'm gonna make a, I made a, uh, chart of all this stuff, a spreadsheet 
of all the uh, connectors and inputs and outputs. So you've got connector J1, which is the Holly. Then you've got the IO module, and then it, it determines what input and output it is in the ECU. What the function is, then I'm gonna get the wire colors for these as well, but what wire colors they are, and then the associated pins. So my inputs that I'm adding, they actually have different uh, ground and five volt or 12 volt power wiring on the uh, pin, I mean on the connector, so. I just put what associated pins were with what, so if I ever have a problem at the track, I can just tear into it real quick and do some quick diagnosing. But other than that, that is about as easy as it gets. So make sure your firmware is right, update the firmware, make a spreadsheet, configure them all in here, and that's that. Oh, and one more thing while I'm messing with this is... Um, each CAN bus has its own serial number, which is an ID on the back of it. So you have to put that in right here for it to work. And then once you cycle the ignition, the look of sweet success. And then you just, so number one output is active. That's my secondary fuel pump. Easy as pie. Now I gotta go clean up this mess.